Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you guys are doing well. So in today's session, we are going to uh, talk more about the Chat GPT. So it it has become a race among uh, all kind of uh, people, be it's a student or uh, working professional. So I have already covered a lot of uh, videos on Chat GPTs uh, related to many stuffs. So if you want to have a look uh, at those, you can check the playlist. I will be putting the link in the description. Okay. So today I have thought of like uh, testing this chat GPT and then some of the coding tests uh, taken by uh, some top companies. So let's start with Amazon. So I am going to take uh, this example. Okay, so bear with given some uh, because the accuracy is very less. So if you see the accuracy is 16.5% and uh, the number of companies where this was asked is Amazon, Facebook, Google and Visa. So let's try to understand the problem. So it is saying given an unsorted area of size A that contains only non-negative integers, find a continuous so where with ads s and returns the left and right index of that so where, okay. In case of the multiple server return uh, so the index which comes first on moving left from right okay. Both the indexes are in the array should uh to this and that. So if I input the input, n is equal to 5, this is nothing but the size of the array and ace is summation. Let me tell you the logic how you are going to find it out. So uh, in ideal scenario, I am going to take the first index and I am going to uh, sum this with the next index. So 1 plus 2, 3. So it is not equal to uh, 1, 2. Then what I will do is uh, in the next iteration, I am going to uh, do the summation of 1 plus 2 plus 3. Again, it is not equal to 12. Then again in the next iteration, I am going to find out 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 7. Then I will be checking whether it is equal or not. Again, it is not equal. So again, I will be checking 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 7 plus 5. And then after doing iteration from the first index, I will be moving to the second index. And then I will be doing the same thing and checking if this summation is coming to 12 or not. Okay. So it says output is 2 and 4, which means the second and the fourth, 2 plus 3 plus 7, which is 12. So my output is 2 and 4 okay so index of 2 is 1 because error starts from 0th index so what they are saying is you have to tell them the position so position is nothing but index plus 1 okay so the answer is 2 and 4 if you see the second example the number of array is 10 and the summation should be 15 okay so here uh, the output is 1 5 what does that mean is uh, from 1 to this uh, from the first position to fifth position you are going to get this sum so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 9 3 12 14 1 15 okay so this is how we need to build the logic okay so let's ask this same thing to the chat gpt so let's copy this thing okay and i'm going to just uh, paste only one example because i think one example will be enough for the chat gpt to understand what kind of uh, solution we are expecting okay so let's go to the chat gpt and let's put this okay so let's see what is the solution it is providing okay so basically it is giving me the code in the java but uh, what i want is i want the code in c sharp okay so i can ask this chat gp2 to generate the same code in c sharp okay? so please generate the same code in c sharp okay let's see so it is going to generate the equivalent code uh, in c sharp so what i need is i need the method implementation every other thing will be there inside the uh, list okay so i need a method which should return me the list of integer and what i'm passing here is the array the size of the array and what is the summation okay? so it has returned this okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this logic from here to here because we already have the method signature and i'm going to put it inside okay and let's see uh, let's try to compile and run and let's see if it is passing So it is passing right uh, now i will be submitting it and we'll be checking whether it's passing for all the possible test cases okay so it has failed for two of the test cases so this has failed for one of the test cases where we are passing array of size 4 and we are expecting the summation to be zero so it is not possible right so in that case we have to return minus one okay as an uh, uh, output so let me add one logic here okay so if what I'm going to check is if summation is equal to is equal to zero, okay. Which means if someone is supplying zero as a sum to this method, then what we are going to return is minus one. So we can return this thing here, okay. 
now if i submit it uh, i think it's going to pass all the 65 test cases let's see okay so if you see uh, it has passed all the uh, 165 test cases accuracy is 50 percent because uh, the first submission with the help of chat gpt code was not uh, absolutely correct it got failed for two of the test cases then i did this modification and then in the second attempt it got passed all the test cases okay so let's move to the second coding question uh, which is about the nagaro coding question which i already have covered okay so let's uh, take that question so if you remember this is the question which i already have solved okay so here uh, it is asking we have two string okay uh, this and this so we have to find out whether this is anagram of each other or not so what anagram tells you is the number of characters okay and their frequency should be same so how did i solve in uh, my video is using the dictionary concept of key and values okay but i'm going to ask chat gpt about this problem and let's see what is the solution it is going to suggest me okay? So again, I'm going to take uh, only till first example. Okay, so it has finished. Uh, let me ask it to write the same code in uh, C sharp. Please write same code in C sharp. Okay. So this this looks quite simple. I don't know what concept it is going to use. Okay. Okay. Let's try to copy from here to here and see if it is. Uh, okay so it compiled successfully let me just submit it and see if it is passing for all the test cases we have so we have close to 222 test cases so it has passed for all the test cases so yeah that's good thing so that's all from today's session guys we'll meet up in the next video till then take care